Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Italian chicken. Um, I'm doing this in my slow cooker. You could also do this in the oven if you wanted to. I'm not sure exactly how long you would cook it, but um, I would say bake it about 375 for 20 minutes or so until your chicken and potatoes get done. But anyways, I just make it in the slow cooker and that way it cooks all day and I don't have to really you know, take the time to do everything at once. What I have here is a pound of chicken tenders. Normally, I would use chicken breast, but they didn't have any at the grocery store for whatever reason. So I just went ahead and got these. Um, I've sprinkled them with some salt and pepper. And now I'm going to pour over about, I'd say half a bottle of the Tuscan House Italian. This stuff is really, really good. You could use just regular Italian dressing if you want um, or the zesty kind. I tried this the last time and we seem to like it a lot better. So that's what I'm going to use for this. And I do, depending on how much chicken and everything you have, I probably do half a bottle to three quarters of a bottle. But anyways, you just want to cover the chicken like that. I have mine set on high and once it gets heated up I think I'm going to cut it back to low just because these are chicken tenders and they will like fall apart and turn to mush which that doesn't bother me but just for the sake of the video I'm going to try to keep them like whole. <laughs> um, so I will show you what I do next here in a couple hours. My chicken has been cooking for about six hours I guess and honestly it's completely done I should have put the potatoes in earlier but honestly I forgot I was just busy doing stuff around the house and didn't think anything of it but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some potatoes I just had um, regular like Idaho potatoes but you could use like the little red potatoes or the smaller ones and just cut them in half or whatever um, this is what I had, so that's what I used, and I cut them into pretty small pieces um, just so that they'll cook quicker. Sometimes I'll just like quarter a potato and put it in there um, if I have like Idaho or russet or whatever. Um, you can see that there's quite a bit of liquid down in there, so I'm going to actually take um, a spatula or spoon or something and kind of mix them up in there so that they're down inside the liquid. And now on top of the potatoes, I've added two cans of green beans. I'm going to put the lid back on and let this cook for a couple hours until the potatoes are done. And then I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay guys, I had, I had a little change of plans. Um, the potatoes were just not cooking in the slow cooker. And my kids were getting hungry and so was I. So um, I decided to just pull everything out. Um, I separated the chicken, I put it on a plate and put foil over it, and then I put the potatoes and green beans in here and let them cook on the stove, and also the juice that was left over in the slow cooker I put in here as well with some water, and it's done, so I will show you what it looks like when it's all plated up. 